Yo guys, what's up? Back again. Just chilling. Um, you know, I can't get any sleep. I don't have anything to do today, tomorrow. It's late, so what do you do then? You make a video. Alright, um, I did a couple videos uh, with this thing. This is the Chewy VI8 dual boot tablet. Um, you know, it comes with the Android 4.4 and Windows 8. I did a review on it, you know, I was telling about it, but I've also did a series of videos on how I upgraded to Windows 10, which it's been running really great, by the way. I haven't ran into any problems since I've uh, upgraded. But what I thought I'd do was, um, there's another program I use quite a bit that I've, I've been using for years, and, um, I use it on various uh, platforms. Uh, Cody, informally known as Xbox Media Center, or they also gave it the name uh, XBMC for Xbox. Um, yeah, they also have it for you know tablets too. I think they have it for Linux, OS X, Android, uh, Windows. You know, probably gonna even say Raspberry Pi and those things, but. I just thought I'd give it a whirl and, you know, see how it works. I've tried it a couple times and it seems to be working okay. I just wanted to show everybody that's never seen it or don't know what it is. Basically, it's an open source media center. It's pretty cool, you know, it can play all, you know, not all, but pretty much all. Your uh, video formats and your audio formats. Everything that I've ever tried to play with it, you know, I, I must not have too demanding needs has always worked. So, you know, it's pretty cool. It can do that. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. You know, it's got a lot of other features besides just that. You know, a lot of cool, uh, like, uh, backdrops for when you're playing music, I guess you could say, like, screensaver, like, uh, visuals, and just, just really cool, <clears throat> excuse me, just all out really cool program, so let's go ahead and take a look at that, we'll go back into the, the little tablet mode thing here, and, um, I, I dragged it to my tiles there, if you could see it, it's, a uh, down there, Cody, so we'll go ahead and click that, you know, 15.0, that's what it is, okay, and the way it's organized is, um, they had a different skin back in the day called Project Mayhem, which was the default one for the other versions, now they, uh, use this Confluence skin, it's, it's really nice, you know, it's kind of organized by these, like, categories up here, and I, I don't know if you want to call them tabs or whatever, but they kind of scroll. So, you know, if you click, if you tap and hold it, you could uh, see how you could scroll through them, go to system, then it'll go to the next one, you scroll programs, music, you know, let's scroll, oh, okay, videos, okay, maybe don't scroll that past that, maybe you have to click over here, and pictures, okay, I click pictures, I got into it, you know, I haven't messed around with them much, let's see, maybe we could, yeah, you could scroll back, look, probably only scroll so far, okay, yeah, you can only scroll so far, and, you know, you click the, the appropriate menu, wherever you want to go, it opens, but with these menus, some of them have subcategories, like, if you notice, we're in the system menu, there's settings, tab, file manager, profile, system, info, if you go to the next one, program, you know, it just opens, there's a, nothing there, go to music, you know, music will open, there's nothing there, so um, yeah, that's pretty much how it's organ organized, if you want to exit the program, there's a little button in the corner, you know, that's with your little typical power button, you'll just go ahead and click that, and then you got options, exit, power off system, custom shutdown, timer, suspend, hibernate, reboot, and then the thing about this too is if you want to add your um, your share, you know, let's say you want to add, I already have a share added, but let's just say you want to add one, you'll go to a music, you know, and then you would go to add music, boom, 
and then you know browse you click browse and then it'll have your shares you know windows network smb network file blah blah, blah c windows whatever so you would just go ahead and pick whatever you want there and then add it so you know i already have mine added to the music and you know it's called the k drive so if i click the k drive now that one should open okay look and it did open and um we'll go ahead and just test this out for example okay so you know it gives us a little uh, mouse pointer icon that's cool so we'll go there and then we'll just click that to open it you might have to double click it okay and it looks like it opened it so then I'll just click a track and so cool yeah that's how um, Cody works you know you just add stuff to it and play it and it's really cool I'm just I'm playing a music file now so you know I mean with the OS X and Windows version of course you could use a keyboard shortcuts like I think tab gets you to the menu where it shows like the album cover and you have your certain uh your transport options and stuff I don't know how to do it with the tablet I might have to click and hold it or you know yeah there we go click and hold it 